Hey guys, so it's me, Kiani. Today's video is going to be a quick review on my new MAC 159 Dual Fiber Brush. Let me tell you, this brush here has answered all of my prayers when I am applying concealer and I don't want to put fingerprints in my concealer. The flat tip of this brush, can you tell that? Is actually designed to really, really get underneath this area here and remove any type of strokes. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I am a avid fan of applying my concealer with my fingers. However, this brush really, really gets underneath the lashes. It really, really distributes this um, concealer really, really well. And it applies, allows you not to have to use so much concealer and it allows the product to dry even faster. I have been um, practicing using this brush using the Tarte um, concealer. And I'm actually sampling a tester. This is the Tarte. It's, um, I want to say it's synthetic or silicone free concealer, which means it's going to leave a um, amazing reflection on the skin. However, it is not going to be very, very sticky. Um, I actually Instagrammed this um, with a red lip a few nights ago and um, you guys love the lip, but I think you can actually enjoy the lip because there were no dark circles around my eye. So what I'm going to do is kind of just grab this out of the container and I'm just going to demonstrate right here. You see how that product goes on? And you can blend it out. I haven't even needed to use any of the setting spray by MAC with this because it goes on and it, it fans out almost like an airbrush type consistency. Can you see that? Yeah, Mac has a winner here. Has a winner. Um, that everything that I've actually just recently mentioned, all of my pros for the product. Um, this brush, as with any other Mac brush, is kind of on the expensive side. This brush ran me about thirty-five dollars, um, and it does have some shedding. Now. I really can't stand when my brush is shed because once you've perfected the look, you want it just to set. You want it to kind of bond to the skin. You don't want to have to go in there and kind of pick out any bristles. So the way I kind of get around that, I um, I wash my brushes. I use either antibacterial hand soap or I use baby shampoo, Johnson & Johnson, Walmart store brand, any of those, and it removes the product without making them shed so bad. Um, it doesn't have as much shedding as some of the other brushes that I've actually used, but for the sake of how it applies the product and gives me that beautiful airbrush consistency, this has my seal of approval. So, um, you can find this in any MAC counter. You don't have to go to a pro store. You can al always find it at MAC.com. Um, but you know, I'm a fan of instant gratification, so run to your nearest store, pick up your new MAC um, brush, number 159. That's all I have for now. This is Kiani with Makeup by Kiani. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something. Um, leave your likes, dislikes, follow me, love underscore Kiani. And yeah, any other product reviews you would like for me to um, send out, you know, if I'm actually in the market for the product, I will definitely do the review. Um, if I'm not, if you want to send it to me, we should talk. <laughs> That's all I have for now, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.